Hi friends, today we are going to see the past year neat questions for the chapter Biodiversity and its Conservation. So already we have completed part 1. Today in this video we will cover part 2. Now let's begin with a question which was asked in the year 2008. Yurkes, or you can call it as Quercus, or you, mostly they say it as Yurkes. Species are the dominant component in dash. So what are these actually? How can, uh, have you ever noticed about this? What species it is? See, uh, UK species, actually they are oak plants. I mean, uh, they are the genus uh, Quercus is actually the oak which contains about 600 species, some of which are listed here. So here you have some. For the taxonomic status of the oak, okay, you have about 450 species and they are mostly used as ornamental plants and they are timber trees and shrubs constituting the genus of this particular one. They are distributed throughout the north temperate zone and the and at high altitudes of the uh, in the tropics. So this is an introduction part that I would like to give here. So when you talk about this squareus, it's actually oak. They are talking about the oak. So these dominant components are found in the temperate deciduous forest. The common name is is Eurus, is Eucus, is actually a cork. I mean it's actually a cork oak. Okay belongs to the family of Hebese. Cork is used in bottle stoppers, soles of the shoes, insulating material and other manufacture uh, in industries. So this is a dominant component of which particular region if you see it is specifically found in temperate deciduous forest. Therefore the right answer is option A. Next question here. Which one of the following is the correct matched pair of the endangered animal and the national park? Okay. So you're given four options here. You have rhinoceros, wild ass, great Indian bustard, and lion. So the one which is correctly matched and to the endangered animal and the national park is option A, rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Okay, rhinoceros. If you see, is actually found in the Kasiranga National Park, and that where it, where is that national park found? It is found in Assam. And it is famous for the production of the environmental park for exclusively for rhinoceros. Therefore, the right answer is option A. Okay, next question here. At which altitude heat gained through um, insulation approximately equals to the heat loss through the terrestrial radiation? This question was asked in the year 2005. It's a direct question. Uh, you, just note, you just need to know the answer. The right answer is option B, 40 degrees north and south. Okay, so at which altitude the heat gain through insulation approximately equals to the heat loss through the terrestrial radiation is about 40 degrees north and south. So this is the right altitude for us to obtain that. Therefore, the right answer is option A, I mean option B. Next question here, Biodiversity Act of India was passed by the parliament in which year? So any guess? So why, what is the need for us, the bio, what is the need for the Biodiversity Act? Why should it come in? See, um, if you look from, I mean, if you look back in history, the population was less, right? As the population grows and with a lot of advancements in technologies, slowly the biodiversity started to diminish. And this became a threat not only for the species, but also to man himself. So this act is actually being proposed in order to preserve and conserve whatever is left out. Very important, right? Because we are directly or indirectly dependent upon them. Oxygen is from, oxygen is from the ecosystem that we get. It is naturally uh, occurring material. And at the same time, water. So, all these resources have to be conserved, otherwise we are also going to be extinct along with the rest of the species. So, this Biodiversity Act of India was passed by the parliament in the year 2000, 2002. Okay, option D is the right answer. Next question here, why life is destroyed most when? So, this is a repeated question of 94, 98 and 2002. Very easy question, a direct question too. C, uh, analyze the options. That is a lack of proper care. Yeah, that is also one of the reason. But they are asking us predominantly what is the cause. 
then you have um, the mass scale right the mass scale hunting for foreign trade its natural habitat being destroyed and national calamity so this i think you all know what the answer is because we discussed it about we discussed this in the part one itself habitat is required it's highly important for a species to survive you don't provide them with the right habitat they also they can't survive now for example the polar bear now the ice is slowly uh, what to say it's slowly melting and there is no proper ice required for the polar bear to survive that is also becoming extinct now due to the climatic changes with lot of heat radiated and earth becoming becoming more uh, hotter and hotter the ice is all getting melted from the regions like arctic arctic antarctica and all that so what happens the habitat that is exclusive for them is slowly getting vanished so obviously the species will also get vanished along with the habitat loss so the main requirement for any species to survive is the natural habitat so when do you see the wildlife being destroyed at max maximum is it is it when its natural habitat being destroyed therefore the right answer to this question is option c next question here the reason for the diversity in living beings is due to the mutation i mean is is being due to what so you four so you have four options mutation long term evolutionary change gradual change and short term so diversity is due to the long term evolutionary changes adaptability to continuous changes in environmental conditions is unimportant for natural selection of variants and variations generation after generation leading to the emergence of the diverse descendants okay therefore the right answer to this question is option b long term evolutionary change reason of diversity in living beings is due to the long term evolutionary change so what is evolutionary change i gave you the answer now so now you can tell me what is evolutionary evolution or let's talk about the evolution meaning the process by which different kinds of living organisms are believed to have developed from earlier forms during the history of the earth we all have a history it's not just for man but all species also have history so that is simply termed as evolution so the reason for diversity in living beings is due to the long term evolutionary change which is option b next question here okay during the adverse seasons okay during the adverse season pterophytes survive by dash what is this pterophytes how can they be called as what is this actually how can you define them see um pterophytes or therophytes okay they are the annual plants that complete their life cycle in a short period when conditions are favorable and survive harsh conditions such as seeds they are typically found in deserts and other arid regions okay so this is an introduction that i would like to give about therophytes so during adverse conditions the therophytes will survive by seeds it seems so what are they annual plants they complete their life cycle in short period and when condition they complete their uh, life span in short period when conditions are favorable and survive harsh condition in the form of seeds they are typically found in deserts and arid condition therefore the right answer to this question is option d yeah like winter as seed and complete their life cycle between spring and autumn okay next question here flamingos breed in dash so this is a direct question here so flamingos what is this flamingo actually it's a bird it can fly anything else do you want to add about here flamingo see flamingos are a type of wading bird so what do you call them as wading bird okay the only bird family in the order of the you have a special special family there four flamingo species are distributed throughout the america which include the caribbean and so on so what do you mean by this wading bird they are large birds that are in identifiable by their long necks stick like legs pink or reddish feathers they embody saying that you are what you eat 
The pink and reddish colors of the flamingo feathers come by eating pigments found in algae and in vertebrates. And flamingos breed in which region? It is the Chilka Lake. Okay, so it's option B is the right answer. So what do you mean by wading? I asked you a question here. What do you mean by wading? See, wading is defined as a walk with effort through water or another liquid or viscous substance. So wading means the one that can walk through water. It has to put in a lot of effort. Therefore, the right answer to this question is option B, Chilka Lake. Next question here. If the forest cover is reduced to half, what is most likely to happen on the long-term basis? Of course, we are leading into extension. Right. Tribals living in those areas will starve to death. Ca cattle in these and adjoining areas will die due to the lack of fodder. Large areas will become deserts. Crop breeding programs will suffer due to the reduced availability of variety of germplasm. Imagine the area of the forest is reducing day by day. It means large areas will become deserts. You are destroying everything there. So you are actually destroying the trees, the plants, the shrubs, the species that survive there. So what is happening there? It's only becoming a desert. What is a desert actually? A place with nothing. You simply find sand. Nothing. No growth at all. Same thing can be resembled here. Therefore the right answer to this question is option C. Next question here. Bulk fixation of carbon through photosynthesis takes place in dash. So this question was asked in the year 1994. What do you mean by bulk fixation of carbon? Carbon is getting fixed in a bulk form. Bulk means abundant. Right. So I think by now you would have guessed the answer because we already discussed about it in the other parts also. Okay. Of course, the major bulk or the bulk fixation of carbon is seen in oceans because we have the zooplanktons, then we have the phytoplanktons, right? These all contribute to that. They are the major carbon fixation organisms. Therefore, the right answer to this question is option D, oceans. Okay, next question. Which animal has become extinct from India? They are talking in terms of India. The right answer is cheetah. Cheetah has become extinct from India, the endangered subspecies. You have the other which lives in Asia. In 1919, there were reports from the Times of India that cheetah sighting in eastern India. There is a chance some cheetahs remain in India, though it is doubtful. There have also been reports from Asiatic cheetahs in the, uh, you have a province from Pakistan through which they continue to be unverified. The cheetah prefers to live in an open biotope such as semi-desert or thick bushes. So, so far we, I mean uh, to some extent or 90% they have confirmed it is an extent but there are traces of them present but it is still unverified whether it is present or not. But as per results, which animal has become extinct from India is cheetah. Okay, next question here. Species diversity increases as one proceeds from dash. Okay, so remember at low altitude, at low altitude and latitude, more habitat is found and environment conditions are also more suitable. That is, more species and individuals occur at low latitude, lower lat latitude and altitude places. Okay, so the right answer is option high altitude to low altitude and high latitude to low latitude. Okay, the right answer is option A. So when do you find the increase in species diversity is because of high altitude to low and high to low. Altitude and latitude, we are talking about that terms. Therefore, the right answer is option A. Next question here. American water plant that has become a troublesome water weed in India is dash. So, this is actually a plant, but uh, now it has become a weed in India. Okay, the right answer is option B. It is called as, so which is termed as a Chorinia crassipus. So, I have a picture of it. So this is a common weed that is found in India. 
it's actually an American origin but now the plant is obviously seen as a weed in India okay it's called as a Chorinia crassipus and this is how it grows on the uh, lake or any surfaces of water especially okay next question here a non renewable resource is dash very easy question what is the meaning of non renewable means can it be renewed no it's a non renewable conventional or non conventional that is the question here it is a non renewable conventional energy source so option b is a, a right answer other than that if you want to know anything about non renewable resources so you must have uh, you, you you can maybe you can talk about some examples here right a non renewable natural resource is a source of energy which uh, which include coal gas oil they are made by burning fossil fuels to create energy while if you take renewable resource of energy they are solar energy they can be uh, manufactured or they can be created by any time but a non renewable resource if you see once they are utilized they are gone because they require fossils and that fossils will only happen in earth after some 100 200 300 years so imagine how long we have to wait in order to get back the fossils and when you burn them you get coal and all that so they are costly now so therefore the right answer to this question is option b non renewable conventional energy source okay so with this we complete the part 2 of biodiversity and conservation meet you in the next part of the same chapter thank you